I'm off to the cottage right now to celebrate my birthday as what? I mean what? Who am I? 23? Everybody and welcome back to my channel. I am really excited for today's video because I'm about to reach out to my itty bitty titty sisters out there. All of my girls part of the STC club aka the small titty club. It's me, your president. Hi, hello, welcome back. Now, I just want to put out like a little disclaimer before I start the video because I just want people to know that this is like a very body positive video. I don't want to give off the wrong idea that I'm unhappy with my body because I love my body and I completely accept everything about it 100%. So I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with having a small chest. I actually love having a small chest and I would never change it because girl, I ain't got no back pain, okay? I can sleep on my stomach because there really ain't nothing there. And I love it because that's how I like to sleep. But today, I do want to share a few of my hacks for maybe, not necessarily, okay, accentuating. <laughs> accentuating your girls so that maybe it gives you a flattering figure, it looks better in certain types of clothes. I think ever since I even started wearing bras, which was, let's be real, I'ma be real with you, maybe like 15, 16, I think one of the biggest struggles that I had was finding a strapless bra that number one fit and actually stayed up um, because let me tell you, and you know what, I feel like this is a universal thing for anybody out there that wears strapless bras, like that, that shit just don't stay up, it just don't. I don't know why I have one and I've never reached for it ever since I bought it because by the end of the night my titties look like they'd be like down here, you know what I'm saying? I'm definitely getting demonetized. I want to talk about my little life hacks for small breasts and how to accentuate them or like um, different kind of products that you could use to maybe like... <laughs> Give yourself that little bit of oomph, you know what I'm saying? I also do want to thank Upbra for partnering with me on this video. I'm super excited because I was actually the one that reached out to them because I was super interested in their product and I wanted to see if it worked. And lo and behold, here I am, like, I don't know, a month later after wearing this, like, several times a week. But actually, this is not just, like, a review video. I have other tips and tricks for you guys. So just to give you guys, like, a little bit of a reference point, the first time that I ever bought a bra that I felt like really fit me was when I was in high school at some point and La Senza was actually carrying like a special petite line. I don't, they don't carry it anymore. I haven't been able to find any type of bra that actually fit me and I was not really about to go and get one personally sized for me because I ain't got tits anyway, so what's the point? But I wear a 30C. I also do fit into 32Bs for your reference. So when I placed my order for the up bras, I was unsure which one I wanted to order because I was like, oh, I don't know if they have a 30C. But when I actually looked at the website, it, they, they carry like all types of sizes. So I'm actually wearing one right now in nude, but I'm not gonna show you guys because that's a demonetized for sure. But I have the black one right here to show you guys. And what's special about this is like, can you tell? This, 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 this keeps it shape. So I think because what really helps us is the out is that they, they do kind of already have a push up factor to them. So these little hearts, I don't know if you could tell, but these are actually like, I think they kind of act like grip so they don't slide down, but also like this entire bra is lined with that sort of similar material even here on the band. So it literally does not budge. I do all sorts of things in this bra and it never really ends up down near my belly button. So it don't look like I already prematurely aged and breastfed like 12 babies, okay? Also a really cool thing about this is I haven't really felt the need to use it this much, but you can actually unclasp these to kind of like give yourself a fuller push up. I don't know if that makes any sense. If you look closely here, this can actually detach and like go a little farther and it goes all the way up to like, literally, I don't know if you would want to push up that big, but it goes all the way out through the band. So you can just select whatever push up size you want and kind of just clip it on there. 
and that'll help to kind of like squeeze your boobies together and it'll give you like a nice cleavage. I think mine is on the original setting which is the second or third one um, and I'm really happy with how it looks. And it also does come with like a little baggie of um, like straps if you do want to wear it with straps and you just want like the extra push up effect. The next little hack I want to talk about is something that I use far too often I think. I've used this hack more than I've used any of my um, strapless bras, but I think that's also because I don't have a strapless bra that actually fits me. Like all of the strapless bras that I've bought before are the smallest size that I could find that would actually fit my band size, which is a 32, um, which you guys already know I'm a 30, so it is kind of like, I have a bra here that actually is a 30C and I bought this like ages ago um, and this is from Los Angeles. I use this hack literally all throughout high school and university. Yeah, I've, I think I this is probably the oldest hack that I've used and I don't really know if it's a hack because I feel like everybody that wears a bra probably already knows this but I'm just gonna say it for you people that don't know already. So this is a push-up bra I think. I don't really, I don't know. I would actually put it on um, but like leave the straps off. <laughs> Is that weird? Because like the the band actually fit me, um, I felt like it wouldn't fall, like it definitely did fall down, but I don't know how helpful of a hack that will be, but like if you don't, for example, if you don't want to go out and actually buy a strapless bra, this could be a good alternative, or if you have a strapless bra that doesn't necessarily fit you, but you have a bra that will, that fits you nicely. So I'm just going to show you what this looks like with the hack on this top. So right now I'm wearing my up bra, and then I'm going to compare what it looks like to just a normal push-up bra. I don't know if you guys can tell, but this is like literally the hack that I've used for so long. Um, I'm not sure if you can quite see the difference. The only thing is like how comfortable it's going to be and it will fall down, but you just kind of like gotta keep adjusting yourself, you know? So, um, so this is the strap and I kind of just tuck it in into the shirt or into the bra or whatever it is that I'm wearing. Um, the only downside to this, I think, is because the straps are not necessarily there anymore and they don't hold it up, you're not going to get the same, like, ba-bam, you know, you're not going to get the same cleavage or anything because the support is kind of, like, shifted. I mean, this is a good option if you can't afford a strapless bra, you don't want to go out and get a strapless bra, and you already have a bra that kind of fits you. So the next thing I want to quickly talk about is, like, you guys are going to look at this and be like, what the hell is that? So these I got a long time ago, like I think first year university, um, and these are just like, these are just chicken cutlets, okay? And you can find these anywhere, you can even find them at Forever 21 now, but you want to get like the ones with the clips at the front because then that that's going to help create the cleavage. The downside that I hate about these is that, you know, I'm just a sweaty person. I'm sorry, that's what it is. I'm sweaty. What can you do? Sue me. So after like literally half an hour of wearing like a gel adhesive bra, I'm sweating. This, I'm sweating and I can't stand it. These are not my very first go-to. They do look nice and, um, you know, they just don't feel the greatest though but if you do get one that does fit you you can get like a pretty nice cleavage shot which I will show you guys right now so this is the gel adhesive bra and um, I think like for me I'm not quite at the free the nipple stage yet I'm not really at this. so the only reason that I really wear bras is because I don't really feel comfortable with my nipples showing anywhere ever so um, this is a good alternative you can see that it still kind of gives a little bit of form um, and it's good for like backless pieces for sure because there won't be any straps at all anywhere um, but like I said again it does get really sweaty you have to make sure to wash it properly so you don't get like acne everywhere but this is a good alternative it doesn't necessarily fall down unless you sweat a lot and then it starts to unstick but this is a good option um, the only thing is you do want to find um, the ones that like have the clips at the front so it does give you like that cleavage but because I do have small titties this is an STC video okay the small titty club video um, so let's be real it's probably not gonna give you like as much cleavage as a push-up bra would and I'm not really the type of bis that puts socks in your bras because like I just don't I, j I just I don't know I, I feel like boobs are not that important to me for me to be stuffing them with socks or tissue or anything like that. it's whatever 
Now the last little hack thing I want to talk about, is this even considered a hack? I think it's just, I'm just talking about like bra options at this point for small boobs. But the last thing that I want to talk about are these little, are these little nipple covers. Now I did mention to you guys how the only reason that I really do like bras is because I don't like my nipples showing and these are great because they're nipple covers but let me tell you when you have small boobs they're not just nipple covers anymore they're like boob covers like these are not these are not covering just my nipples these are covering like my whole damn boob okay if you're like me and your chest is smaller they're already like you know lifted I guess so it's not like they're gonna look like they're super droopy or anything but also keep in mind that this has like literally zero padding um, and it depends on the type of shirt you wear but like I don't really like how sometimes when I wear these you can literally see the circle I'm gonna try it on for you guys right now so you can kind of see last but not least these are the nipple covers um, I don't know I don't really want to zoom you guys in so I'm not gonna but you can kind of see the outline of the nipple cover and this is like the, the basically the whole shape of my actual boob but, but like another thing about these nipple covers are they're basically the same as a gel adhesive they're not fully made of gel but the adhesive is like you know adhesive so if you sweat they do definitely come off it's happened before those are all the little hacks i have for you today um i do want to go back in and because i took this off this is the bra that i was wearing so you can kind of see um things better this is like the setting that i have it at right now maybe i i will like literally go drastic and i'll show you guys what kind of difference it makes so if you guys can see here i put it on like the sixth hook on each side and you can see already that it kind of makes the bra already ready is ready for the push-up okay so I'm gonna put this on so you guys can see what it looks like in comparison and we'll wrap up so this is what it looks like when it's on the sixth hook and keep in mind that um, this actually isn't the tightest this bra goes like I think I have it on the first set of hooks because um, that's how I like to wear my bra I don't like to stretch it out too much at the same time but this is what it looks like when it's on the sixth hook obviously I don't want to pull it down too much it, de it definitely does have a lot and if you saw the whole thing you would be like oh shit a bitch has boobs but like I'm not gonna show you that because we're not there yet okay we're just friends and so that is really it for my tip I don't even think I should call this hacks I think I'll just call it like little titty tips oh that's a good video little titty tips <laughs> So thank you guys so much for joining me in this video and thank you again to Upbra for partnering with me. If you guys are interested in Upbras or anything, I do have a code. I'll put it right here, but I believe it's Diane Upbra 10 and with this coupon code, you'll get 10% off of your order. So um, I hope this video helped you. I, got, I hope this video is entertaining um, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. Natural disasters, my baby is big.